Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today we are bringing you our review for the T-Mobile Revel. And really, I don't know if I could recommend this to anyone for a sub $200 smartphone. So this smartphone comes in at $150. And honestly, I can't say that it has a lot going for it. First of all, the dual front speakers are not dual front speakers. It's actually just one speaker at the bottom. No sound comes out of this one. Comes out of that one. And you hear that? That's as loud as it gets. Although it's nice to have a front firing speaker and I really do appreciate that, it's not loud at all. Like it's just very tinty and the quality isn't there. And we will show you some other ones that are in this category that are going to be at there. Um, in terms of the video quality itself, again, it can't even play some videos, which is kind of interesting. I tried to put our standard video format on here and it's not uh, that good at all. Not worth showing really. Selfie images are definitely not really there overall in terms of lighting. This was good lighting and it looks like it's very dark. Um, this one, uh, I brightened the EV, really try to make it stand out and just again, everything looks washed out now. And in uh, your even outdoor shots, it just really brings just nothing that clear. If I zoom into this, the trees are already looking distorted uh, comparing to a lot of other quality smartphones, even in the same price range that didn't have that issue with it. Very reflective as you can see too. I mean, normally you can't see my mic in any of these videos, but this one you can, so it's a very reflective screen. And uh, in low light, again, very grainy overall, just not clear. So the camera's a bust, speakers are a bust. How about the battery life? Battery life's actually pretty good. I will say this is going to last you for uh, the better part of the day and the standby time is really good actually. So I will give that battery life is probably the best feature of this phone. Uh, but overall, for $150, I can recommend this even if you are on T-Mobile and you want to give a phone to maybe a kid or maybe you just don't care about a lot of features and you want to get a under $200 smartphone, there are better options out there. So let's go through them. So with this uh, phone, you have a phone that is going to be $150. And of course, you can do it in monthly payments if you want. Not sure what's loading there, but we'll just clip that. So these are the alternatives to that. So we got five of them here and we are gonna do our best smartphones under $200 uh, price range at the end of the year. But just give you a little preview of some of the best ones you can get for around the same price right now. So with this, you can get for $160, so $10 more. Uh, same amount of storage and RAM, but just a much better camera quality and much better display too in the uh, Moto E Plus. So that one's gonna be a much better one. Now this is with lock screen ads, so know that for this Amazon version, it is with lock screen ads, so if you take those ads off, it's going to cost you more, uh, 199. So it depends on you if you really feel that you need the ads, um, and if you don't, then that won't be a problem. Now, the other one to take a look at is going to be its bigger brother, and that is the G5 Plus. Now for the G5 Plus, again, same amount of storage and everything on that, but this is 184. For this one, you're gonna get a bigger display and definitely a great quality. We did review this phone, so check out our review for it, but this is a great phone for the price, so this is definitely one I would highly recommend. Now, if you're not on the G side, you could go uh, to Huawei. Now, this is gonna be a nicer quality build. It's a metal back, fingerprint sensor on the back, just like this one, but it even has dual cameras. So, really good quality for this one. We did review this phone as well. I think we even did a 10 hidden features about it. And this one is 179. So, again, this is going to be a bit more, but just more options. And then we have two other ones. One that I am so excited about, I already ordered it to review. This might be the best smartphone you can get in this price range by far. This is the Z Axon Mini 4G. Now this is an insanely good smartphone. It has 32 gigs, size, three gigs of RAM, so more RAM than most of these, 
5.2 inch display, but the original Axon had better speakers than every flagship smartphone between $800 and $1,000. So that is really impressive that it's gone down that much. It's on the GearBest website. I'll leave a link in the description because it is on sale right now at a whopping 128. I believe it's normally 150. So that is definitely one to look out for. And finally, just an alternative, if you want really a nice style, if you like that bezel-less design that all the new flagships are getting, this is called the um, Alpha Amaze. So you really get that beautiful style of display that a lot of these top-end smartphones are getting on a $200 phone. So this is another one to look out for and one that I definitely recommend. So really curious to hear you guys' thoughts on which one would you buy for this price range or do you have some other recommendations that I should take a look at? Again, all the links for those phones will be in the description, so make sure to check them out. But for $200, I would say you have better alternatives and I would quite frankly use them. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.